questions for reflection. In today's first reading, Paul reminds his readers who they were before they came to the Lord and came to understand what it meant to be Christians. He mentions they were servants of immorality, servants of sin. Some translations use the word slave. This image of being bound without choice is accurate. When we follow a different path besides the one of Christian freedom and salvation, we're slaves to sin. And the reward paid by sin for our service is death. The only way to be free is to embrace Jesus Christ as Savior, to accept His sacrifice and to become servants of God instead of sin. Let us ask ourselves which of these masters we serve. And if we serve the wrong one, let us do whatever it takes to break the chains that confine us so we may be free to serve the Lord. Our psalm for today is a reminder that we are blessed when we avoid wrongly associating with the wicked, to be wrongly influenced by them, led into sin, rather than to help them to renounce their wickedness and sin. When we avoid sin and temptation, when we properly relate to those who seek evil instead of good, we save ourselves from trouble and help to save them from the judgment which sin incurs. Thus unburdened, we can flourish like a tree, planted next to a stream, and we can bear fruit in helping to save other souls for the Lord. In today's Gospel from St. Luke, we hear a sobering message. Jesus does not come to bring peace, but division. To be Christian is to order one's priorities with a view toward God and the life to come instead of this life. Those who do not share our view often find it difficult to understand, and this causes division. As Christians, we pay a price for being different. We can be criticized, outcast, or even persecuted. Jesus knew this would happen, so he made it clear to his disciples that their lives would not be filled with peace, at least as a lack of opposition, but with division. We also have real enemies opposing our walk with, in, and for the Lord. The world, not the created order, but the system which has no room for God. The flesh, not the body which is good, but disordered passions. And yes, the devil, who is real and hates God. Therefore, he also hates us because we love God. We are in a spiritual war. But Jesus does give true peace. In fact, in John's Gospel, we read his words, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. That's John 14, 27. It's the peace that comes from being in an intimate communion with the Lord. The peace which the Apostle Paul explains is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And I quote the Apostle. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 to 25.